there is a, a discipline and an inner um, uh, an inner strength that comes with the dance, especially with a classical art form. And um, keeping an art alive is really keeping that alive, not just um, something that is beautiful, but also something that does a lot for the individual who dances. I was telling Samir, Rukmini Devi used to say that uh, dance is like yoga. The dancer connects and understands oneself, one's abilities, what one is capable. We discover our own true potential and also helps us to deal with life better. In this day and age where there is there are so many uncertainties, so much stress at the workplace, sedentary jobs, sitting behind desks and computers. I think uh, spending an hour or so doing this dance would be a wonderful yoga for any human being, any young person today. I don't think people at my age can do it, but young people. <laughs> So it's very fulfilling. Nice to see, um, nice to see a documentary on the dance, and uh, I'm so happy that Annapurna Studios has come forward to produce this, and I do hope it gets the recognition and the opportunity to showcase this beautiful, um, the beautiful culture and art of this state, of the people. Um, who have walked here for generations. Standing Moksha. Um, everybody saw that documentary and got vexed because it was so beautiful. He made it so beautifully and so deeply. By the end of the documentary, you wanted to get Moksha. <laughs> so they came out disappointed that they didn't get Moksha. What happens, Amir? Where is Moksha? <laughs> so many people came out of the hall and said, but I want to get Moksha. So it's a long journey to Moksha, but continue to do your yoga, make good films, make good documentaries, and um, let's make the world a better place. Congratulations and wish you all the very best and um, to all the members of the media who have come here. I'm sure you'd be happy to see something different. Uh, he's made a, a nice uh, 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 intersection of the dance and cinema um, in the hope that it will reach wider audiences. Uh, there are the purists who will regret but then um, what is the use of a beautiful art form if um, people don't have uh, the opportunity to see it? So I totally understand your approach. When I graduated from Kalakshitra, I saw the same. There was a wave where everybody was going to cinema and television and I chose this path. I know I disappointed my teachers and my fellow dancers, but uh, here I am. Who would have known when making documentaries on the dance? So, so all the very best, and I hope um, you have enjoyed this documentary as much as me.